were completely flooded. Um, it was like the seventh and sixth floor was just going down floor by floor. Take a look at this video students posted online. Tonight, nearly 400 students are out of their dorms after a pipe burst on the seventh floor of Clement Residence Hall. For some perspective, it's a co-ed residence hall in the 1600 block of West Cumberland Avenue. WBIR 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas spoke to those students. They're frustrated, looking for answers, and trying to figure out where they're going to live. There is an emergency. You must evacuate, and we left. Without warning, early Sunday morning, nearly 400 students rushed out of Clement Hall after hearing a fire alarm. So I woke up, basically fell out of bed because, you know, I was freaking out. And we didn't bring any of our stuff. Some of us were wearing just our underwear this morning at 5 a.m. And fire trucks showed up, and about 30 minutes later, they told us to go into Strong Hall. <laughs> that it was going to be a while. A statement from the university reads in part, a pipe burst on the seventh floor of Clement Hall as the result of vandalism to the hallway ceiling on that floor. The floors were completely flooded. Um, it was like the seventh and sixth floor was just going down floor by floor. When I walked into my room, there was no lights on in my room and it's like really hot. The elevators are not working. You have to take the stairs every time you go up. With no electricity or running water inside, students were relocated to Strong Hall. Freshman Elijah Ramsey says that was one of the only places that he could try and get some rest. I had only slept two hours this morning, and then I tried to sleep two hours in there on top of a pillow on the floor. <laughs> to make matters worse, it's finals week at UT. I haven't been able to study. There's a bunch of stuff due this week. I have a lot of stuff due tomorrow that I haven't been able to work on and finish so it's just a lot of like this is the worst time it could happen. Hours later students are still waiting to hear what happens next. We don't know if we're going to sleep there tonight. We don't know if like when we're going to even be able to sleep there. And looking for a new place to rest and regroup. Reporting in Knoxville, Yvonne Thomas, WBIR 10 News.